Now, if you're interested in learning more about the Amazon Echo frames and how they work in practical day-to-day -day use, you're gonna wanna watch this video. This is EBP Man Tech Reviews, and today we're gonna do an unboxing review and audio test, binaural audio tests of the Amazon Echo frames. Let's get right to it. Now this video, we're gonna take a look at the Amazon Echo Frames. We're gonna take a look at all the features. We're gonna do a binaural audio test, which means if you have earbuds or headphones, make sure you have them with you because you'll be able to hear everything that I hear coming from these glasses. We're also gonna talk about how you can go about getting them prescription lenses. So if you're looking to switch the lenses that these have for prescription lenses, you can do that as well. So again, call quality test, audio test that you'll be able to hear, and we'll talk about all the features as well. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, as we take a closer look at the specs or the Amazon Echo Frames, one of the things that make these stand apart from the other smart frames that I've seen on the market and that I've tried and personally own is the weight. These things are incredibly lightweight and very comfortable. You're talking about 31 grams. So if you're looking for some frames that you can wear all day, I think these may be the ones. Now the Amazon Echo frames are extremely lightweight and are made out of high quality materials. We're talking about carbon fiber as well as titanium. This is gonna give you a lightweight experience as well as a durable experience in wearing these day to day. Now the Amazon Echo frames support Bluetooth 5.0 and I have not experienced any kind of sync issues either watching Hulu, Netflix, or YouTube. One thing though to note is that they only are compatible today with the Android ecosystem. So if you have an iPhone, you can't use the Amazon Echo frames yet. Now from a speaker perspective, and we're gonna test this on the channel, you'll be able to hear it using those binaural mics. You have two speakers on each side. So on each temple, you have two speakers giving you kind of like a beam forming experience. I will tell you that as you raise the volume on these, people who are around you will hear what you hear. Uh, they're not in your ear, so you don't get that privacy. So you'll wanna watch your volume. Now from a mic perspective, they have two beam forming mics, and I have to tell you, here's a spoiler, they sound really good. So make sure you watch the full video so you can see the audio quality test and you'll be amazed. Now if you're planning on using the Amazon Echo frames during your workouts, you have nothing to worry. These are IPX4 rated, which means they're gonna be sweat and splash resistant. So having a prescription for these and using them during workouts, no problem. Now from a battery life perspective, things are gonna be a little bit tricky. As you can see here, there are a lot of things to consider. How many voice commands you use, how many notifications you get, if you're listening to an audio book, if you're listening to music. All in all, they say that they should last around three hours, but that's still a test in process for me. Now the Amazon Epical Frames come in a really neat box. It's actually a really nice presentation. And as we open this up, you'll notice that here you have your frames. We'll move this over to the side. You do have a really nice uh, case. You'll see this is a really durable case. And then you have this uh, pamphlet area right here that's gonna give you everything that you need to do in order to get these uh, to your optician so that they can get the right lenses for them. So they are supported. The lenses themselves, you shouldn't have a problem like if you have VSP, uh, that type of insurance plan with the lenses. As far as the frames go themselves, I don't know if they'll cover those because again, you're buying these separately, you're getting them through Amazon and then you're getting fitted lenses. At least that's what I'm learning in my experience. So I'm a glass, uh, you know, eyeglass wearer and I also have contacts. So I'm getting my prescription lenses put into this, but my insurance will only cover the lenses themselves. So check with your insurance to see what they cover if you want to get the lenses. But again, you have everything you need in the box. Now, as you take a closer look at the actual travel case itself, we'll go ahead and open this up and you'll notice that inside you have a couple things. So put this over to the side. You have a lens cleaner, so this has a little cloth in it that's gonna allow you to uh, make sure that the lenses that you have are nice and clean. So it's like a little microfiber towel. You then have your charging cable, and then you also have your power brick. Now to charge your echo frames is pretty simple. So you, all you have to do is take your charging cable, and you'll look right here that the lenses themselves have a contact point right here that all they do is they just magnetically lock into place like this. So you can use a battery backup solution, you can plug this into your computer, you can plug it to any USB device port to charge them. Now the frames really look like normal glasses except there's some differences. So the first thing we'll notice is that you do have, um, again, larger uh, temple sides, as you can see here, your contact point here for charging with your speakers, mics, your power button, and your volume rocker. You also have the ability to swipe, so if you wanna dismiss messages, you'll be able to do that by swipe. And then here you have a LED light that will turn on as you are invoking uh, the Amazon uh, keyword for waking up the, uh, again, assistant. Uh, all in all, let me just show you how they look when you put them on. I'm gonna take off my normal glasses and I'll put these on. 
right? Now, the neat thing about this is that as soon as you put these on, if you took them off for whatever reason, you're gonna get a notification. It's gonna tell you if you've had missed any calls, any kind of notifications or alerts as soon as you put them on. And then again, right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a little blue uh, LED that will turn on when you're invoking the assistant command. I'm gonna turn to the right so you can see what they look like. I'm gonna turn to the left. And one of the things that they don't have, uh, traditional glasses, they have uh, here your nose support area, um, it's raised. You'll notice that these are gonna be flush. Uh, you'll notice that the frame is a little bit bigger um, on my face compared to my glasses. I like the brand that I'm using because they're almost invisible frames. Uh, these are gonna be larger, um, as you can see, and it's really gonna come down to your taste. Uh, this is the only model that I was able to get as I ordered them uh, for my personal use. But let me know what you think about these. Again, lenses you can change. So with your prescription, I'm sure you're going to be able to get either standard lenses. You'll be able to get the inline bifocals if that's something that you're looking for. I'm sure you could probably get polarized. When you go to your uh, optician, they'll tell you what your options are depending on your eyesight and your need. And next I wanna share with you what the audio experience is like when using the Amazon Echo frames. So if you have earbuds or headphones, put them on because you're gonna get a binaural experience. You're gonna hear left and right channel coming in as we do this recording. So let's get right to it. Next, let me give you what the startup experience is gonna be like. So listen up. Connected. Battery is at 80%. Okay, so that's what the audio would sound like when you're starting it up. Now, the other thing is, as you're starting it up, and this is going to be a hard thing to show you, uh, you won't be able to see it, but there's a blue LED that's right here on the frame that when you power it up, it indicates that you have powered it up so that um, you get kind of like that visual feedback in addition to the audio feedback. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try some of the, you know, some of the commands. Now, all the commands that you can perform today on any uh, device of this type, you know, in the Amazon family are going to apply here. So I'm going to just try a couple samples just so that you can get a sense of how it works. Watch this one. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.46 a.m. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. That's how much you would hear. Let me ask it the weather. Alexa, what's the weather like in Miami? Right now in Miami, Florida, it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has partly sunny weather with a high of 74 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. Okay. Now, again, there's certain limitations, so let's try and see if we ask it something that it may not know the answer to. And we'll test this. I'm testing this live. Alexa, when does the Samsung Galaxy S20 become available in the market for purchase? This might answer your question. The Samsung Galaxy S was released in June 2010. Yeah. So, again, you saw that. Let's try it one more time. Alexa, when will I get my Samsung Galaxy S20? I did not find any matching items for Samsung Galaxy S 20 since last week. Okay, so I checked my order status, which you know you can do today with Alexa products. Now let's go ahead and try to see if it knows when I can do my pre-order. Alexa, when can I pre-order the Samsung Galaxy S 20? Sorry, I don't know that. All right. So it still has the same limitations that you would expect coming from any of these type of Amazon products. So it has the limitations, but you can see how interactive this is and how you can ask questions and how loud the mics are. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to music. I want to check out and see how well it sounds. Now, next we're going to do... Now, we still have the binaural mics going, so make sure you have your earbuds and your headphones on because now we're going to look at audio reproduction. How well do they sound? So let's go ahead and try the song. Then if you try... Okay. Let's go ahead and try raising the volume. So that's full volume, and I can hear some distortion already. I'm going to lower it. That's all the way down. And you notice how there was some distortion even at the lowest levels. Let's bring it up. Right there, it's midway. Okay. Let's go ahead and re raise it again. Now that's full blast, and you can hear that it has distortion already, so we're going to go ahead and bring it down. 
Okay, let's try a different track. Now the next song we're to play is a Latin track. So this is gonna give us a flavor of what tropical music would sound like when using the Amazon Echo frame. So let's go ahead and try that. And you can hear already the distortion. Okay. I'm gonna lower the volume because it's at the highest volume. And I'm gonna tell you when I don't hear distortion. Right there, it's still a little bit too loud. I wanna say around there. Yeah, I think right there it's a little bit more. I think right there is, is the right balance right there. So no distortion, I can enjoy the music well. Let's try one more track. All right, so this is our last track test. We'll go ahead and start it up. And we'll do the same thing. We'll lower it all the way down and we'll bring it all the way to the full blast so you can see where it distorts. Lowering it. That's slowest. Okay, right there, it's it's good. Right there, it's about halfway. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the top. Now that's pretty loud, right? And you can hear the distortion, so I'm gonna bring it down again. Right about there is where it sounds right. All right. So that was three audio tracks. Let me know what you thought about the audio reproduction. Again, you're not gonna get the heavy bass. You're not gonna get any of those things with these as you would expect uh, as you're using, you know, these really, the, they're, they're not mics that, or in this case, um, speakers that are going in your ears. They're right now here on the side. So they're not gonna have the level of fidelity. But I will say, as I've compared these to the Bose, I do think that the Bose sound better. That's just a heads up. And you know, if you're interested in me doing a comparison review and we'll do an audio test just like this with the Bose, let me know in the comment area below. So next we're gonna do a call quality test of the Amazon Echo frames in a quiet environment. Let's check out our decibel readings. So anywhere from 19 to 21 or 22 decibels. We'll go ahead and switch. Now this is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call in a quiet environment using the Amazon Echo frames. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. This is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call on the Amazon Echo frames. So next we're gonna do a call quality test of the Amazon Echo frames in a noisy environment. Check out our decibel readings. So you're looking at a dB anywhere from 40 all the way up to 80 decibels. We're gonna switch to the actual echo frames, but then we're gonna stay quiet for a second just to see how much ambient noise is being picked up, and then we'll do the voice test. Now this is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call on the Amazon Echo frames in a noisy environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. This is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call in a noisy environment with the Amazon Echo frames. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Amazon Echo frames. Let me know what you thought about the product in the comment area and if you're interested in a comparison between the Bose frames and these, I'd love to hear from you. I'd be happy to make the video.